Hi, I'm Kent with Heritage Insurance and I'm here to teach you how to file a house insurance claim. Something that you need to know about house insurance is that the burden of proof for your house is on the insurance company. So they have pictures of your house, whether it's a lightning claim, fire claim, uh, whatever claim. If your house is destroyed, then the burden of proof is on them. So either the agent submitted pictures or an inspector came out to take pictures of your house prior to the insurance taking place. Now what you probably don't know is that your contents are up to you. The burden of proof for all of your personal belongings are on you, so you have to prove what you have in order to claim what you have. It doesn't matter if you say that you have $100,000 of contents or if you have a million dollars of contents. If you can only prove that you can if you only prove that you have $10,000 of contents, then you'll only receive $10,000 of contents back. So here's what you need to do before you file a claim and probably before you even get insurance quotes just so that you know how much to insure for. So the best way to provide a burden of proof that you own these certain belongings is by pictures, videos, or receipts. Now a lot of these things have been given to me and I don't have the receipts of them, but I do have proof that I own them. So what I would do is I would take pictures of the big things, maybe not the small things, like I have a bookshelf here with all the, all the individual books that may cost $10 a piece, $20 a piece, but I would sweat the bigger things, like I've got a piano here that's $2,500, I've got a bed here that's maybe $1,000 for the mattress and $1,000 for the headboards and all of that. But also you, all, uh, you need to remember to get the, uh, the names, the brand names of these things inside of the pictures and the photos and then you can find what they're worth online or what the replacement cost of those things would be new. See the TV for example, you see Vizio on there so you know the brand name of that. What you do is you take the pictures of those, upload it to the internet, and then you have them for if the house burns down, blows away, something like that. Finally, when you do have damage done to your house or to your property, the first thing that you need to do before you make the claim is you need to stop all damage so that it doesn't continue on. If that means that you need to spend money to stop the damage, then that's fine. Go ahead and spend some money to do that. If it's a water claim, for example, you have to clean that up as fast as you can. And it probably means that you need to get somebody else's service to help you clean it up to prevent further damage. So save receipts and take pictures of that entire process. The next question that you have to ask yourself is, is your claim covered under your insurance? For example, if your house floods, by outside, it rains a lot, water rises from the ground up, and it does damage to your house. Do you have a flood policy? If not, then you cannot claim anything on your house insurance, no matter what's damaged. So another thing to know is, does your deductible meet the amount of damage done? If you have a $2,500 deductible for your house insurance, and there was only $500 damage done to your house or to your belongings, then you don't have a valid claim. The last question probably is, should you claim or should you not claim? Because you've probably heard many people say that they have made claims on house insurance and then suddenly their house insurance price goes up. Well, that really depends on the price. That depends on how much you would get back from it to see uh, if it's worth it or not. So if I have, once again, a $2,500 deductible and I have $2,600 of damage done, that means that I could only claim $100 of insurance to my house uh, or for my house insurance. But is that worth it if it's possible that my house insurance goes up $100 every year because of that? The last thing that you need to do is give your house insurance agent a phone call. Let them know that you have the claim so that they can get it handled and get an adjuster out there to help you uh, settle this claim. If you don't remember who your house insurance agent is, try to look back to your previous documents. You can even uh, you can look to your emails, through your papers, call your mortgage company if you have one to ask them who they are. Google them, and if you're in a hurry, you need to call them, maybe instead of emailing them, give them a phone call just to let you know that they need to help you file that claim.